Hello there and welcome to the video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Emily and I post weekly beauty videos and tutorials. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Today's video is going to be an eye look tutorial on this look right here. And to be honest with you, about halfway through the video, I was ready to give up. But we somehow pulled through and came out with a beautiful look, if I must say so myself. So if you want to see how I created this purple smoky eye look, then just keep on watching. And really quick, I wanted to pop in and excuse my frizzy hair because it is raining today and so it's very like wet and gross and nasty outside. My hair is definitely feeling that. And also because it is raining, it's like thunderstorms outside. So if y'all hear any rain or anything, like I'm just gonna have to go with it. Honestly, I like the rain. So hopefully it's really not a problem. I'm sure that y'all enjoy it too. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my eyes using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. First, using this angled brush from Sephora. And I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Palette today. And this palette is well loved. This is not new to me. This is just one of my faves. And I really love this shade Soul. And I thought I would do a look with this as the main attraction. But first, I'm going in with the shade Volatile and that angle brush. So I'm starting at the outer corner of my eye and I'm just filling in a little bit to get an idea. And then for the wing, I'm pulling it more upward so that it looks more lifted. Yeah, like already, this is just very like, whoop over here and this eye I will say this eye is a different eye shape oh my gosh the rain this eye is a different eye shape than this eye there's like something different that like makes it like more like round and I feel like it kind of goes downward anyways maybe I just stare at my face too much but we're lifted over here next I'm using this pointed fluffy brush from Morphe and I'm taking that same shade volatile and just building up the outer corner So I'm making like an angled kind of shape, like almost like an eyeliner wing because I'm picturing it as more of like a foxy look where it's like smoky on the outside and then that soul shade on the center. But yeah, we just want this kind of a shape. Next I'm taking this Lexi 243 fluffy brush. And no extra product, I'm just blending it out and seeing what kind of shape I'm going with. And then I grabbed a little bit more product and I'm using that second brush from Morphe. And I decided to add more product to the upper outer crease area. And then I'm going to blend that out with the Luxie brush with no extra product. Okay, so something, I'm swooshing by the way. So something wasn't blending well and now I've added a bit more product. It's not like a lot, but it's just gotten higher than I intended. But anyway, so now I have a Morphe 514 fluffy brush and it's dirty, but there's no product on it. And I'm gonna try to blend this out some more, but something funky was happening in the crease and it just was not blending well. I don't know if it was my primer or what. You can kind of see it right there. Y'all see that top line? Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but that just like looks super patchy. Maybe it's because these shadows are older. That's a bummer. I used to use this palette every day, so I know that it used to be fine. Okay, forgive me. I had paused filming because I had to like yell something. I didn't want to hear myself screaming in the mic. And then I started working and wasn't filming. So I've really just been blending a whole bunch. And then I added a little bit. 
of the shade Incense right here, which is just a lighter tan shade. And I added that just right out here where it's like really feathered out now. I think that it's helped. It definitely looks better than it did before. I just feel bad because I wasn't really filming when I did it, but it'll be okay. You get the idea. Okay, I was gonna mess with it some more, but I'm gonna leave it alone because I think it looks okay. And also we just got a tornado warning. So I'm gonna try to speed things up without ruining the look, but just speed things up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what happened. This side that I showed y'all still looks patchy to me. This side I didn't show y'all looks so smooth to me and like perfect. Why? I think they're close enough. Ugh, I don't know. This side is still so rough looking to me, but also I feel like the more I mess with it, the more patchy it will get. So I really just think I should leave it alone. This necklace will not stop moving, but it's cute. So. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line. It's going in with this Morphe 431. And I'm taking that first shade Volatile and putting it on the outside of the lower lash line. And now for the lid shade, and I'm gonna use my handy dandy flat brush. And I'm going into this shade Soul. And I'm applying this all over the lid. Okay, and I just grabbed a little fluffy brush because I feel like that's starting to look patchy already. I must have done something wrong with my primer over here because this side of my eye is just not wanting to work with me. I'm just taking that Morphe 514 and no extra product and just blending. Okay, so I don't know what it is, but I'm just, I'm just not feeling this look. Like, I don't even know if this video is going to make it out at this point. It looks okay in person, but it's really, I'm just not digging it right now. I wonder if it'll be better whenever I do my lashes. I don't know, I was, I'm honest with y'all. I'm just not feeling it right now. Okay, I'm gonna try to make it better with some glitter and I'm gonna go into this Celestial shade. It's like a really pretty purple. And I'm just gonna pop that on top of Soul. Okay, so that's pretty. It's just not where I thought this look was going today. This is just not really what I had planned. Maybe it's because it looks way darker in person. These lights are really washing me out. I need to figure out how to work them correctly because this is turning out so brown when in reality, it's not that brown. And next I have this pointed little brush and I'm gonna add some of Soul and Celestial to the lower lash line. So I'm starting with Soul. and then Celestial. And then I have this angled brush with some of Volatile on it and I'm gonna do some of the inner corner. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight first. I'm gonna take a tiny amount of Dreamer and pop that in the inner corner. Okay, scratch the inner corner idea. I. I was like really having a hard time. I almost just stopped filming completely. I don't know what is up with me today. When I was trying to not quit, I added some black eyeliner in the waterline. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. Okay, and I think that that's about it for the eyeshadow. And if y'all don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and do some me time, do my mascara and lashes, and watch something on YouTube to kind of reset my attitude. So give me a minute, I'll see you in a minute. And I'm back with mascara, lashes, and a lip. And with that, this look is complete.
turned out way better than I expected. Where did, where did this come from? Why does it look bad until the very last moment and then it looks beautiful? I really, I just don't understand. I love this look. This is, this is breathtaking. 25 minutes ago, I was ready to wipe this off my face. Ooh, well, crazy. So if you also love this look like I do, please leave a thumbs up down below and go ahead and comment and let me know if you thought it was a hot mess and you're shocked just as much as me or if you knew it was going to be bomb and you were just over there laughing at me struggling. Anyways, other than I love this look, I really don't have any other words for you. I'm kind of speechless at how well this turned out. So I'm going to let that be the end of the video. And I hope to see you in my next one. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next new video. See you next time. Bye.